All right, friends, we're outside of Whole Foods, and I wanna share with you five or six foods that are staples in our household that we like to get at Whole Foods. Not everything is available at Whole Foods. Whole Foods is also very pricey, so you gotta be selective with what you buy. We're gonna focus on mushrooms, ferments, some really cool uh, foods for uh, kids, uh, how to differentiate which eggs to get, meat products, and much more. So let's go on into Whole Foods. Okay, friends, so a highly underrated but healthful food is mushrooms. So I like to buy the mushrooms in the bulk section as opposed to these that have been maybe wrapped with plastic. So what you do is get a paper bag. You always wanna put mushrooms in a paper bag. I go right for the shiitake or the oyster. They don't have, it depends, you know, if they have trumpet or oyster. But these, it seems expensive, 10.99 per pound, but they're really light. So mushrooms contain a compound called spermidine that activates autophagy. Mushrooms improve immune health, support immune health. I mean, there's so many different benefits, cancer prevention and all that. So a bag like this, it's about half a pound. That's about two meals there. Mushrooms are more animal than they are plant. They're kind of in between. And they taste phenomenal, a little butter, garlic. I'll share with you how to cook them later, but this is a go-to staple in a place like Whole Foods. Okay, all right, so we're in the meat section here. Now, I do recommend working with a local farmer, but it's good to check the prices here. This is a really great price for a grass-fed beef here, $3.59 each. So that's actually a good price. We're gonna get one of these. But uh, again, the prices can, can vary. It's always best to work with a local farmer when it comes to your meat products. But at this, for a grass-fed, I like to get fattier ground pieces, very satiating filling. We're gonna go ahead and go with that because that's a great price. Okay, okay friends, so I know not everyone's into wine. I like wine periodically, and there's a few wines that I would recommend from Whole Foods. So what you wanna look for is your organic label and biodynamic, really important because there's a lot of chemicals that can be sprayed on grapes, aftermarket products and things like that. So this is one that I would recommend. There's also this one uh, as well. So this is $10.99 for an organic red wine. But I will tell you that between these three here, the Badger Mountain, we're in Washington, so I'm gonna support Washington State. But honestly, this one is really tasty as well from California. It's on sale here now, $3.45. So the nice part about an organic biodynamic wine Gonna, there shouldn't have any sulfates or sulfites in there. You're not gonna get a hangover. It tastes good. You don't wanna overdo wine. You can easily overdo the alcohol and so forth. This is another one I've tried before. It's only $10.99. It's an organic wine as well. So you have decent selections here in the domestic area that are usually biodynamic or organic. All right, so we're at the egg section. Eggs are really important. Hopefully you have backyard chickens, but if you don't, I understand. So what you wanna look for is pasture-raised eggs. So Vital Choice is a good brand. There's a few other brands. Usually most Whole Foods or natural food stores will have a local kind of farmer that they'll partner with. Go over that, over some of these companies that are imported from all over the country. So go local first. You can even look on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. The most important thing when it comes to eggs is pasture raised. Just because it says cage free, that doesn't mean that they're totally cage free. So since we have chickens, I'm not gonna buy eggs, but if I were to buy eggs, I would probably go with the Vital Choice Pasture Raised Organic. All right, so safety first. I'm not gonna use the hand sanitizer, but friends, we're at the Olive Bar. Olives have a list of health benefits. They taste phenomenal. And this is something that I like to get from a Whole Foods or a natural food store. You're not gonna pay too much for this per pound. I mean, it is expensive, 10.98 or something per pound. You're not eating pounds of olives. It's just part of your fat, part of your phytonutrients. So what I like to do is just get a blend. Um, this one right here with the herbs. My favorite one, if they have it, it doesn't look like they have it today, which is fine is one where they do a little chili pepper in there. Well, there's one right here. These are the, uh, the green olives, I believe, with, and these are pitted, pretty tasty. Sometimes I'll get some of these just to switch it up. So every time you go, you wanna get slightly different ones. Here's the ones that I like. Now, I do think they add a little bit of citric acid or sugar in here. They put some raisins. So they're not super keto or carnivore or whatever. But honestly, they taste pretty good. So what I'll do you know, with eggs or meat or something like that is maybe just a quarter cup of olives, right? So you're getting some pretty good fat. They taste good. And it's just good to break up some of the animal products and so forth. Um, there's, there's good compounds in there, hydroxytyrosol and other phytonutrients that are good for your heart. So olives are a highly underrated food. I never ever see people at the olive bar, but these are something that you should be getting. And I much prefer to get them like this as opposed to, I mean, if this is only your only option, fine, but this was probably bagged in New York and shipped all over the country. It's better to get something like this more fresh, so. All right, so we're in the cheese section. So one thing you wanna look for 
is you want to look for the raw milk. So I'm not a huge dairy consumer. I think dairy should be consumed in moderation. But when you do consume dairy, make sure that it's from a raw milk, not pasteurized or homogenized. So this is what you want to look for, organic raw. So we're going to get some of this and we'll slice it up. And it's a phenomenal type of cheese. Okay, so for those of you with kids, you want to pay attention because your kids will love these as a bread alternative, okay? So these are these Siesta Kitchen almond flour wraps. Now, they're pretty low carb. I think, well, there are 20 grams of carbs, but it's mostly, there's almond flour and tapioca flour, gluten-free and all that sort of stuff. So what you can do for your child, instead of cereal or bread in the morning, is saute this on some butter, throw in some eggs in there with some little bit of ketchup or something like that. Phenomenal. Put a little cheese in there, a little raw cheese. Your kid is gonna be like, oh my gosh, we're eating healthy, it's low carb-ish, especially for a kid. You can even make chips. I'll share with you a recipe where I make these into chips. You cut them into quarters, you fry them in some butter and some garlic in your cast iron skillet, let them sit and cool down. They are crunchy, way better than any chips you buy out of a bag. Okay, I forgot to tell you this other health food, this, oh, never mind. Ignore that stuff. How, <laughs> however, over here is a highly underrated health food. So we're talking about ferments. Now, I know some of you that are hardcore carnivore will disagree with me, but I think most people are able to absorb vegetables that have been fermented. So we consume vegetables like this fermented quite frequently. You go to Korea, you go to Asia, you go to other parts of the world. Ferments are part of the delicacy. So I like this Firefly Kitchen kimchi, this one right here, it's phenomenal. But there's other brands you might want to check in with what's made locally in your area. So we're going to get some of this. And honestly, guys, since most people, unfortunately, are not eating ferments, they're usually on sale. Um, so you can expect to pay $7.99. This will last you a couple of weeks. You're just doing a tablespoon or two with your major meals. You're not eating a whole can of this. So, and you can reuse these cans, put your protein shake in there, do whatever. So uh, awesome way to support gut health. Okay guys, we're about to check out here. I wanna share with you a tip about how to save money when buying kombucha. So if you look at this kombucha, it's 329 up to 349. Now you look down here, this bigger bottle, it's called economies of scale. The more you buy, the more you save. So instead of, you know, every time you go to the store, if you buy 399, that adds up over time. If you just get one of these once a week, share it with your family, you're only spending 7.99, so do the math. There's about four of these containers, these containers in here, this thing is 48 ounces, so that's, I think, a really good deal. And it's only $7.99, so basically you can get three and a half of these for the price of less than two. So it's a great way to save on kombucha. And just make sure that after you have it, you rinse with water because it is really acidic to the enamel on your teeth.